I'm back! <laughs> hey guys, I'm back. I've done a house move, I've had six weeks without internet, and I've had Nurgle's Rot. So, coming back, I wanted to do something a little bit special and something I hope that everybody will enjoy. This is a Citadel Miniatures Guide from 1989. It's my dad's. He kindly gave to me a long time ago. Flicking through this as an eight, nine year old boy was what got me into the hobby. But there is something specific I would like to talk about, which is these guys over here. But whilst I go through this little pamphlet, it is basically a pamphlet, it's only a couple of pages. I will just enjoy this. That's this lovely thing. But as I said, we want to concentrate on these guys right here, which I do very happily have right next to me. Anyone who knows me personally, and as you'll probably find out more from looking at my channel, I am an absolute old hammer, mid hammer buff. I love the stuff. The first minis I ever got and was introduced to were my dad's, um, my friend's brother's stuff from Rogue Trader in the early 90s. So when I saw the Citadel Miniatures Guide as a little kid, I saw these. So when I started, um, when I well, got older, a long time has passed since then, about 20 years. I wanted to track these down because I always remember seeing the artwork and how cool they are. Thankfully, most of these paints are in relatively good repair and I'm very thankful for that. And we do have a full set. These have been eBay finds, just the usual sources and they're just so full of character and they're just a little bit of a... Um, a treasure trove of where they were at this time. GW, that is, or Citadel, <laughs> as we should actually say. I'm going to keep going here, going through these boxes, because they are rather special. The expert paint set, which is inks. We'll pull these out. These are the cutest little inks I've ever seen. Let me find an appropriate model for scale. <laughs> they are little inks. And they're awesome. I'm looking forward to trying these. I had a little dabble as you can see on the side here. Just to see where I was at. But they're such a sweet little thing. And the last paint set I'm going to bring out just be, just for, for the sake of doing it. Is another one that um, doesn't appear to come up that often. Which is this one. The Orkin Eldar paint set. I mean just look at the box art. It's fantastic. The old 40k logo from Rogue Trader is absolutely beautiful. The Orc was the beaky helmets and the Eldar and it's just such a beautiful set. I have put this on top because unfortunately this one did crack in the post. In a different era of Citadel, it was again, and with any luck, you can hear this, they're still alive. Um, and you can take into consideration that these are from um the oldest the late 80s and the earliest um the early 90s so these paints are well over 30 years old and if you can get hold of any of them just even even just get hold of the boxes i think they're just such a cool rarity to have don't pay through the nose for them do your best to just try and find a, an ebay deal or go in your local gaming groups or just find somebody who's willing to um, send the collection down, which was the case for these two. So thank you guys on, on eBay, and he's going to get used for some very cool stuff, including some stuff I have above up here, which I'm going to bring some of these models in to kind of tell you guys what I'm going to be working on for a little while now. I've wanted to do some second edition models, and I want to go full ham. I have roughly enough to do a thousand points of um, Death Guard, and I've got a load of Space Wolf to do as well. So I'm looking forward to um, jumping into this with some of these paints. Finding out how well or how badly they paint with. I have done a test test model, but this test model is a mix of these paints as well as the other old paint box that I have the um, happy um, accident to have found on eBay. 
the one that uh, mid with mid winter minis um, came across. This one actually came with a couple more of the brushes as well, which is rather cool. But I did a little bit of a test mini. Let me just zoom the camera in, if it will let me. Come on, camera. I'll have to do, but the old chaos warrior from that box. And some old brushes. I by no means want to um have this video be a like a flex on anybody for all this old old stuff I've got. I like to think of myself as a custodian for some of the older stuff. And I wanted to share this with everybody. And I also want to share the fact that a lot of these paints um were made by a company called HMG, which is now Cote d'Arm, so you can get a lot of these paints. But there's also another company which I'll put a link in the bio of this video that make paint matched sets of these. They are from outside the UK, but from some of the videos, I've got another video, there's a chap saying, um, who did a series of videos called The Quest for Goblin Green. Go check that out, and he does some um, comparisons between the paint line called Nostalgia 88 and the Coat de, Arm Coat de Arms stuff. So if you get an opportunity, uh, I'll check the paints out. They're gonna be cool to use on the channel. And to paint my own minis with my own personal projects when I'm not on camera. But next thing up is going to be some Nurgle guys. I did promise that um, Nurgle Rhino and it is coming. And I can also say now that I'm going to be doing a Nurgle Predator as well. I have a hole here. And my very good friend gave me some bits and bobs to make up what is the old... Chaos Predator pieces. This is the Mark 1 again. So we're going to do some cool second edition stuff for a while guys. I really enjoy this old stuff. It speaks to me. It's not to say I'm not going to do any new stuff but you can expect a lot of second edition and probably some third edition stuff on this channel for a little while. So I hope you're all keeping safe. Try not to get an aggro like I did. And I want to go do some more painting, do some recording and hopefully get a video up for you guys that isn't just me rambling about old paint. Thank you guys. I'll see you soon. I've been Ginger Paintbrush. See you later.